Welcome to The Daily Dish with New York Times bestselling author, Leanne Ely. Putting vibrancy back into your everyday life and feeding your heart, mind, body, and soul. Join us every day at 1 p.m. Eastern for Motivational Monday, Tuesday's Tip, Wise Woman's Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Food Fight Friday, and of course, Q&A, where no question is off limits, and Soulful Saturday. Here is your host, Leanne Ely and The Daily Dish. Ta-da. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome. It is Tuesday, Transformational Tip Tuesday. It is no small day. It's a big day. We have things on the agenda, don't we? Let me see what, 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 what? I'm not seeing the comments because I'm not there. There you are. There's Linda, Marguerite, Jennifer. Hello. Good to see everyone. Mary Ann is in the house. So is Catherine. I love to watch y'all come on in. Helen, you too. Denise, Lisa, Christine. Yay, Angie. Deborah, haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. I am so, oh, she's enjoying, Helen's got her mindful mug and I would have mine too, except it's upstairs. I have spent the whole day doing filming, you guys. We're doing actual filming with actual cameras and you can see my little microphone right there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Juanita, Linda, Jackie too. So good. So good. Melissa's here, Rosemary. Thanks. She likes my hair. Listen, there's enough hairspray on here. Don't light a match. It'll go up in flames. Gina, I'm glad you're here. Gwen, how has everybody been enjoying the results from the sprint? Have you? You know, the sprint is our starting place. There's a whole lot more. You know, we're always doing something. And one of the things that I have found that is a needle mover for most of us is getting to this place of understanding what our food addictions are all about. There's Sarah, there's Suzanne. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. And I'm talking about what we're doing this Thursday. This Thursday is our food addiction webinar. Why are we doing this? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is personal for me. This is something that I struggled with and fought years and years and years. I can't tell you how many years I wasted on this. And what happened was there were some profound moments, epiphany moments of things of understanding my biology, understanding what's going on in my head, the emotional connections, all of it, because that's what it's about. And if you've been in this place and you know if you have or not, I just want you there. It's this Thursday, savingdinner.com forward slash freedom to go get your seat. And the reason why this is so critical and so important is that could be the very thing that's holding you back. It's a free webinar. I share a little bit of my story. I share the science of what happens and helps. And all of it starts to click in and make sense. So be there, would you? Even if you can't, go ahead and get signed up anyway, because here's the deal. You will get the recording and you'll be able to go see it at your leisure. It makes all the difference in the world. I see Lucy in the house and Jane and Vanessa. And there's Marguerite, of course. Good to see you all. So there's that. Um, and I just mentioned that right off the bat because, you know, for me, <laughs> it's just this. This is on foremost in my mind because I know that this is a, for a lot of women. This is the thing that holds them back. This is what we, we talk about getting off the carousel of crazy. That's what this is about. Our quote of the week is life becomes easier when you learn to and accept an apology you never got. Also part of the equation, right? Because there's a lot of us who've been so wounded. We are the walking wounded. So I want you to understand too, that you're not necessarily gonna get that apology, but you can forgive and you can even get past forgiveness into radical acceptance when you understand the whole concept of this. It's huge, it's really huge. That's why we do these quotes. And by the way, quote decks are probably sitting upstairs right now on my front porch. They are here today the new quote deck. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to savingdinner.com forward slash quote. I want you to go see it. All new quotes, all new design. It is so beautiful. Our Amber just knocked it out of the park. We're so excited about it. And I want you to be excited about it too, because it, you know, this is how we set up our environment for success. It's crucial. Savingdinner.com forward slash quote, order it. You're going to get it. It's the minute it gets in, the minute it will be in the mail to you. That's how that whole thing works. We have Friday, 
This Friday is Q&A. Send your questions in. Look, I'm a nutritionist since the 90s. I can help you with this nutritional information that you need. All you have to do is send in your questions. Send them in to support at savingdinner.com. Question for Leanne on Friday in the subject line. We'll know what to do with it, and you will get your question answered. But time's a wasting. On Thursday, we cut it off, man. You have to wait till the next time. Even a cooking question or, hey, how'd you do your hair? <laughs> I've had questions like that. Oh, Helen, I'm so glad you ordered the quote deck. I, I'm glad you're excited about it. You're going to, you know, if you've got our original quote deck, this other one is just going to supplement it, right? We're setting up this amazing <laughs> environment for support. That's what we do. So we are so excited about that. And all of you, Mary, I'm so good. So good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Um, so that's what we're all about. Um, full bloom, of course. You can see the little Chiron below me. Listen, if you're not going to come to full bloom, I'm going to cry my eyes out. I probably am. I'm serious. You know why? Because full bloom is where we start. It is the beginning of our journey. Full bloom is where we start because we are recognizing that we are enough just as we are right now today. That should thrill you to your bone. We're going to talk about this all the way through and how we can be the women that we want to be, how we can grasp vibrancy once and for all. It starts here between our ears. That is exactly what Full Bloom is all about. And I'm telling you, plus there's the swag bag, which is off the hook, by the way. Check it out. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash bloom. This is something you want to be a part of. It's all day Saturday, April 24th. But guess what? You are going to get to keep this conference forever and ever. Amen. That's the cool thing about it. And the other thing about it is you get to be with your gals. We're all going to be there. It's going to be fun. I can't wait for you to be there. I'm thinking probably I'm going to do some hot seats and stuff too. We'll, we'll probably get some stuff like that going. We're doing Get Strong, Be Strong right now. That all again is a free program. Who's doing Get Strong right now? Who's doing it? You know, because look, we want some guns, girls. We want some guns. We want to be strong. We don't want to be frail old ladies. We want to be strong and vibrant. Strong is important. I'm going to show you exactly what to do with the whole thing, savingdinner.com forward slash strong, so that you can go get your guide. It has an illustrated guide. I'm showing you photos of me showing you these exercises on what to do. And um, you can watch the webinar too if you want to, whatever you want to do, but that's where it is. And it's free. It's so much fun. Look at all of you doing this. There's Jocelyn's flexing. Hi, Amy. Amy's doing it as well. Carol, Mary Ann, Helen. Come on. Strong ladies. I love this. Strong lovelies. Pinky's up. Let's hear it for that. So we also have the PJ party. That's coming up on on Saturday, April 3rd, and we move that around just a little bit. But you know what? Who cares, right? We don't. We're not we're not upset about that, are we? Um, we get to go. I want to see PJs. Who's here? Jill's here? Yay! I haven't seen Jill in a long time. I'm glad you're here. Noreen printed the guide. That was smart. I know with all that color, there goes your ink cartridges, right? <laughs> I won't be offended if you do it in black and white, I promise you. Um, anyway, yeah, check it out. And Susan's here too. Good to see you. Golly, we're going to have so much fun. Of course, all of these events that I'm telling you about, you know, they're all free. Full Bloom isn't, but so what? <laughs> you know, it's $47. You're going to get more than that in, in the swag bag. And you get to keep it forever and ever. Amen. So what can I say about that? You know, this is the week of what if. What if. I love the what if question. The what if question makes possibilities just endless, endless. We get to be the women who drive this life of ours. We get to put our lives on steroids. We get to, if we just ask the question, what if? So today is Transformational Tip Tuesday. And my question to you is using this what if question is, what if transformation was a whole lot easier than we thought it was? Boom. <laughs> Doesn't that just make your head go, what are you talking about? But that's the truth. You know why it's the truth? It is the truth because we make everything so much more complicated than it needs to be, right? So much more complicated than it needs to be. And that's why I want to bring this all to um, front and center. We need to take a look at that. Oh, and by the way, I didn't talk about this because I took it all upstairs. But the mindful mug you can find brand new, savingdinner.com forward slash mug. Read about it and three ways to get it. Uh, you can pay for it and get it free. 
Uh, the other thing is our digestimes. You know, if your digestion is a little wonky, if you think you need to be eating all these Tums and doing all that stuff, not not at all. Check it out. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash digest digestimes. And we're going to send you our salad, um, delish, simply delish salad guide. It's fabulous. Lots of recipes. You're going to love it. And uh, it's always at savingdinner.com forward slash show. So check it out. I forgot to tell you about that. I wanted to dive into the stuff because this is the stuff that's the needle mover. So when we ask these what if questions, then we have to ask the next question was, well, what's involved here? What is what is what if, <laughs> you know, what is what if it to me, when I look at all of this and I look at the transformation that I've made in my own life, you know, both just um, with losing weight, with feeling better, with having more vibrancy, getting rid of pain, getting rid of the sluggishness of what um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis brought into my life that I struggled with for 20 years before finally, you know, getting things in line and on my side, let's just say. And that is that we got to start with a little physiology, a little biology and a little psychology as well, because it is all interconnected. This is why we're the Daily Dish Show, right? We bring vibrancy back into your everyday life, heart, mind, body, soul. When we just look at one thing and it's only about one thing, not only after we get to that maybe goal of getting those size six jeans on again, we find it, you know, what's next? Is that all there is? Is there, isn't there more to life than that? And I say yes, because those size six jeans really are just talking about us getting to the place of vibrancy by making sure that what's on the end of our fork is feeding us indeed. And that's, well, that's number two, but Let's talk about all the things that we can put together to make this transformation something that's just super doable. Instead of being overwhelmed by it, we're putting it into the what if context of, well, what if I just did this one thing? What if I just did this little thing over here? So I want you to see how if we break it down a little bit, it's not nearly as overwhelming as we possibly think it is. And the first thing that we want to do, and believe it or not, this is probably going to sound weird, it's movement. And do you know why? Because movement throws your body into a place of making all of these happy hormones, dopamine, serotonin. We start to feel better. We feel more alive. And I'm not talking about getting out there and running a triathlon or getting a Peloton bike or, you know, deciding you're going to go do this big gym thing or whatever. I'm just talking about getting your butt out of the chair. Getting your butt out of the chair and walking up and down the stairs a little bit, doing a four-minute workout that's super easy. Um, you've seen the four-minute workout. You know what it's all about. All of these things, they move the needle in your life. They move your body chemistry around, and you start to feel a little bit better. Just that little bit is enough for transformation to begin to happen. This is what happens. This is what happens with us. So if we start with this, and, and I will give you another thing. One other thing that you can do, and that is to kind of light up your sympathetic uh, nervous system, is to start dancing. Put some music on and move your money maker. Watch, watch how you start to feel. It's unbelievable. It doesn't have to be like, I got to do push-ups. I got to go do this. No, it just means a little physical activity. Go take the dog for an extended walk. Go do something. Every single step counts. This is why we park a little further out. This is why we do the things that we do to make a difference. Set your alarms on your phone and get up and move. Okay, that's number one. Number two is food is transformative. It is. When you get away from the crap and you start eating real food with real ingredients, the stuff that you know how to pronounce, you know exactly what it is at first glance, What's at the end of your fork is absolute, absolutely transformative because it changes. Your body no longer says, oh my gosh, she just ate a much, some more you know, uh, inflammatory stuff and blow you up and make you feel sick to your stomach and make your, your, your knees hurt and your body hurt and your sleeplessness and all of that. You know, that, this is information. When, we feeding, when we're feeding our bodies, we're giving our bodies information. Our bodies are either saying, yay, good stuff, thank you very much, or they're saying, boo, this doesn't work for me. Okay, you asked for it. Here's your inflammation. There's no gray. It's black or white. That's how it is. And it's, you know, this is not me. This is not me making any kind of a um, overarching judgment call here. It's just chemistry. 
This is what happens. So your hot milk sprint guide, that is your guide for transformation with food. It's your guide. It tells you all the whys and why fours. It tells you everything that you need to know. And it's important. Getting your food on point is going to change your life. Because, you know, what are we? We're souls in this bodysuit, and this is, we're feeling it. That's it. And if we fuel ourselves better and we start feeling better, hello, vibrancy, there it is, right there for you uh, to bring it back in. I'm honestly getting to the point I don't miss the garbage. Did you see that comment right there? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going to say that's Jenny. Yeah, that happens. That happens because you feel too good to go back to where you were. You know, it's like asking someone who just got out of prison, you want to go back? Of course not. That's prison. It holds you back from the life you want to lead. This food, the, the food that we're talking about, it lights up your body with information that helps your body to do the work it needs to do. It's that simple. And it's that transformative. And number three is your thoughts. The way we think about ourselves, the things that we focus on, and when we don't get the things clear between our ears, we go back to the carousel of crazy and we start over and we get to do, you know, we get to do it all over again. And we think it was the program. It was this, it was that. It was really about what we were thinking about, truly, because if we were thinking about things differently, we would be saying, instead of beating ourselves up for having a mistake, you know, instead of doing all of that, we'd say, what can I do better next time? How can I correct this? How can I make this different? What a, what a change. And, you know, Joyce Meyer very eloquently said, you can be powerful or you can be pitiful, but you can't be both. And that's what it is when we're choosing our thoughts. We can choose to be powerful or we can choose to be pitiful. If we're going to sit there and put all of our energy on the stuff that doesn't expand our horizons, doesn't expand our lives into the places that we want to go. If we're going to spend all of our time complaining, if we're going to just say, but it's too hard, it's too this, it's too that, and that's our focus, it's going to be. If we change our minds, if we just say, you know, no more of that, I am worth all of the effort. I am worth changing my mind. I am worth making different decisions. Then that is when we start to flick the switch and our lives begin to become exactly the vibrant things that we want them to be. It's that transformative. It is that transformative. It's not overnight. It doesn't, it's not just like that. It takes a minute. But that's why we set up our, our, our environments for success. That's what the quote deck is about. You know, you get to, where's my quote deck? It's around here somewhere, I promise you. Here it is, sorry. But you get to pull a quote out. And mine is right here on the top. You get this little stand, right? You put it right here and you let it do it what its work is meant for you. Part of Courage is Simple Consistency by Peggy Noonan. And I want to tell you something. Every single day I look at that. Every single day I am con being consistent with my own goals. Why do you think that is? I'm into this stuff all the time. I'm reading all the time. I'm doing the journaling. I'm doing everything all the time. My place of falling down was consistency. Not anymore. And I've got, <laughs> I've got Peggy Noonan reminding me every single day that this is part of my own courageous journey to be consistent. That's how imperative having your environment set up for you to be supportive like that is. It's incredible. Um, number four is your environment. Okay, so I said your thoughts and I went into your environment. Your environment, yes, quote decks, etc. But have you made your bed today? Have you have you looked in, into your home? Do you have visual peace? Do you clean up after yourself? These are things that make a difference. I mean, we know, all know and love Fly Lady, but right at the very bottom line of everything is, isn't just a clean house or a shiny sink or shoes on your feet. It's that your life transforms as your house transforms. And I'm trying to bring it to the second level of getting, you know, the food on your fork to be the same kind of transformation, your thought patterns to be the same kind of transformation. But, you know, your, your home is, is, is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of what's going on inside. So when we take care of our homes, we're taking care of ourselves, you know, ex ex kind of extend extensively, right? And the other thing that I would say about that is decorate. You know, 
put on a pretty blouse. Put on a, a little bit of makeup and some lipstick. Put your tchotchkes and set me outs on the coffee table and enjoy all of this. All of this feeds your very soul and it feeds the work that you're doing and it's transformative. All of the things, everything that we do is transformative if we've decided it is. And number five is, uh, you know what? Write these little gems down. Go grab your journal and write this down. As I changed this, as I made my bed every day, as I saw myself, as I created this, as I made my tr target trifecta smoothie, as I saw myself eating this way, and watch as you look at yourself and you look at your life and you record these incidents, you're going to see a transformation right there in front of you, you know, because we, it's so easy to just, you know, say, oh, well, you know, just that one thing. It's just that, that one time or that whatever, but these are moments. These are moments that deserve to be captured. Just like the, you know, photograph a moment at a, at a birthday party. They deserve to be captured and they will build you up. You'll have collateral of an evidence of the life that you want to lead, that you have done it before. You can do it again. And this is a part of who you are. Transformation is that simple. It really is. What if transformation isn't this big overwhelming thing? What if it's not like you got to burn down the house and rebuild everything up? It's not. What if instead we just made this decision that we're going to do these, just these simple little things, put them into play every day. What would happen? I know exactly what would happen. And I know exactly who you would be. You'd be the, the beautiful self that you want to be showing up every single day for your life. You would be that vibrant woman who's getting what she wants out of her life, having a voice in it, creating it, right? From star <laughs> soup to nuts all the way through. That's what it's going to be. Now, I'm going to give you an invitation. This is very serious from the bottom of my heart that I want you there for Full Bloom. Full Bloom is where we go together to meet together as women on this journey of transformation to vibrancy. You know, we're not, no, no one's sitting here saying, you know, my life is just the, as perfect as perfect can be because perfect doesn't happen this side of glory. It's all about excellence. And so I'm inviting you to an excellent journey and I'm inviting you to the place of vibrancy and the place of bridge building where we bring out our tools and we start the creation process. We do this in full bloom on a big scale because it's an all day thing. I want you there. I want you there. And I'm asking you to bring in a girlfriend to, to get together and start to really do the soul work that we need to be doing and do this work together. It is a must attend event. So find out all about it at savingdinner.com forward slash bloom to get all the details. Plus, you're going to want that swag bag. Come on. Who are we? <laughs> well, ladies, I am going to get back upstairs and go film some more and get these, get all these um, done for our website. If you have a question, don't forget, you can ask me at any time and send them into support at savingdinner.com. Question for Leanne on Friday. I will answer that for you. And don't forget as well that we're here for you. If you're in the Hot Melt Sprint group, you know, on Thursday, we have Hot Melt Happy Hour. Um, we're still kind of discussing the times and everything like that, but we are going to make sure that we are connecting with you every possible way that we can because we're here for you. This is important to me and we're on a mission to bring every woman that we can into this place of vibrancy and getting off the carousel of crazy forever. You with me? Who's, where's my pinky girls? Let's get those pinkies up and let's do this together. Um, I am so looking forward to, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of this week. I'll see you tomorrow for sure, though, for Wise Women's Wednesday. Until then, pinkies up, lovelies. Peace be with you. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube on the Saving Dinner channel or on the Saving Dinner Facebook page. Check back daily for new episodes, Monday to Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you missed the live show, you can watch the replay. Until next time, pinkies up.